Now we save the best for last. <laughs> Sister Kathleen Kilbane. The only thing that I want to share with you is Sister Mary Gallagher, 88, and Regina, my aunt, said I have to behave. So congratulations. It is my honor to introduce Margaret Lynch to introduce our next recipient. When we were talking about who was going to introduce whom, um, Marty said that, you know, he had this aunt who was a St. Joe's nun. But I said that the Kilbanes and the Lynches, or Lynchahans, as we're known on Ackle Island, have been neighbors and friends for generations. So I, uh, I trumped him. I bumped him <laughs> off there. Bumped him off the podium. Um, so Sister Kathleen already told me that one thing she wants you to know is that nuns do not retire. <laughs> she is not, so she's not retired. She is in her third career as a volunteer at St. Coleman's Parish, and I know there's a group of you from the parish here tonight. Um, in her first go-round, uh, many, many years ago, I suppose, we, uh, she was a grade school teacher at uh, five different schools across the city. And then her second um, career choice, if we, if we could call it that, or calling, real calling, I'd say, um, came to her um, during the middle of her life when she uh, began to focus on social service. Um, not long after the Westside Catholic Center opened, she became its executive director. And we need to say that because one of the other things she warned me about is that she did not found the Westside Catholic Center. Uh, but everyone who knows her knows how important this very, very humble person was in making it happen and be the flourishing organization that it is today. In 1997, she did go on to found the Seeds of Literacy to help combat adult illiteracy. So, we'd like to welcome Sister Kathleen Kilbane to the podium. Thank you. 